Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict here doing another product video for y'all. Um, before we get started, as always, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you subscribe, get you all of our latest content right now as soon as we upload it. So we're gonna try and do more videos in the future, give you more content. Let us know what content you'd like to see from us in the comments, in emails, smoke signals, Facebook, you know, whatever. Send a titty pic, I mean, whatever. Really? <laughs> really? Uh, anyways, so today we are going to review the DJM drop shackles. A lot of y'all know that we do, you know, sky and ride and everybody else is, is lift kits or lifting parts or axle swap, stuff like that. But a lot of you don't realize that we also have the capability to lower your truck. This is an item we keep on the shelf here for fast delivery. Um, pretty simple for you two wheel drive guys. Uh, I've even seen them use on four wheel drives, but this is a two inch uh, drop lowering shackle for the rear of the truck. It's a little longer than factory, obviously, to get you your drop. They've got a heavy duty uh, wrinkle powder coat. They call this actually hammer tone. It's what I did to my 74 Broncos frame. Anyway, poly bushings are already inserted, ready to go. They come with a set of instructions to, to help put them on. Um, basically, super simple install take and block the front of your vehicle so it doesn't roll the transmission park. I know we're taking the rear end up off the ground, but just as a safety precaution, loosen the bolts that hold the uh, rear shackle in place. You take a floor jack, put it on the rear receiver, jack up just a little bit, take the pressure off the bolts. The bolts will slide right out. Old shackle comes right out. Then you take and put this new shackle back in place. Obviously you've got two different adjustments on it where you can get different heights, depending on how much you want to go down or up with your, with your vehicle. Big key thing is do not over tighten this. A lot of people don't like poly bushings because they squeak. It's because they're too damn tight and they don't got no grease on them. So make sure you oil these up and don't tighten them down too tight. 25 foot pounds normally does the trick on these. Basically do the rest of the steps in reverse. Once you put the bolts back in, put the weight back on the truck, make sure they're good and tight. Take your transmission out apart, take your block out. Drive the truck, I always recommend this, drive the truck 20, 30 miles, a little bit more sometimes, and then re-tighten this stuff. Make sure that it's still snug. Anytime you loosen a bolt up, got the chance of it coming back loose. Just as a precaution, always double check your bolts, make sure you've got everything tight, especially after a couple of mile test drive. Anyway, these look great on any, any truck. Uh, in fact, we've got a single cap short bed that we cut the frame up and shorten it all down has these on the back of it to get to get the nose dive out of it. So now it sits level, looks good and going down the road. Doesn't look like a stink bug. So anyways, great mod. They're relatively inexpensive. So check them out on our online store. Uh, we keep them in stock at all times. So they're a quick delivery to you. There's no delay in anything like that. So as I said in the beginning, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lots of new content coming out, lots of new videos. Um, couple weeks we're going to be doing some different series stuff that I think you're really going to like so keep watching.